about climate change. I know, I know, but just hear me out. I get it. Every day we're bombarded with news and information about climate change. It's overwhelming, but it often feels so impersonal. It's happening somewhere else to someone else. And because this communication feels so impersonal, we often don't see climate change impacting us in our everyday lives, and thus don't feel the need to act. This deficit between the way climate change is being communicated and the public's drive to engage shows us that we need to alter the way we're communicating to be more effective. But that's easier said than done. It's not as simple as using a thesaurus to change the words we're using in our communication. In fact, there are a lot of strategies for communicating climate change that haven't worked as well, such as using fear or taking a more passive approach. Instead, we need to change the underlying message targeting our words to the values of those we're communicating to. Well, even this is still complicated, as values differ between regions and populations. This is why this Shirk-funded project aimed to identify the values around climate change of people living in Canada's provincial norths in order to begin to respond to the question, how should we communicate climate change impacts and solutions to promote citizen engagement with climate change? Our values shape our beliefs, our attitudes, and our perceptions of the world around us. By understanding the beliefs, attitudes, and perceptions of people in our community with regards to climate change, we can gain an idea of how they value this problem and construct our message to align with those values. Through postal surveys, we are working to document public beliefs, attitudes, and perceptions of climate change and climate action in two case study communities, Thunder Bay and Prince George. We also spoke with climate leaders and advocates in order to gain insight for developing climate change communication strategies aimed at promoting citizen engagement with climate change. When it comes down to it, climate change needs to be personal. We need to tailor our messages and communication in a way that targets the values of the people we're talking to. We need to focus on their perceptions of the impacts and solutions that work for them. We need to improve our communication to effectively promote citizen engagement and mobilize climate action. We need to talk about climate change, but we need to do it right.